everybody, Marco Sala here. Um, man, Devin, ah, he was ready this time. He had a little defense this time. All right, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go over my favorite head and arm uh, escape when you have your pin in your back. Um, I just call this elbow tuck escape. I wish I had a cool, funky name for it. Maybe I'll think of something later. All right, so he's got me. He's got me in the head and arm. Tie up here. Okay, scoot back a little bit. Make sure we're here. Okay. So he's got my my arm underneath his armpit. Got control of my tricep. He's got my head cranked up. And he's got his head close to my head, right here. Okay. By pulling this arm up, go ahead. It keeps my back flat on the mat, so I can't tuck in. Okay. By cranking my head up, I can't bridge. And with his head tight here, I can't frame his face to get my leg over his head. It's a very bad position to get in. You get a good collegiate wrestler, or even a, or a good jiu jitsu guy with a lot of experience in this position, or a judo guy, it could be like, you could be stuck like Chuck, all right? Now from here, a lot of guys panic, okay? And they freak out and they spaz out here. The first thing you wanna do is lots of escapes here, but assuming you tried every escape you know, and none of them worked, the first thing you wanna do is turn to your side the best you can, okay? By turning to your side, you relieve uh, the potential for him to tap you out with a neck crank. Because when, when you're flat in the back and they crank your head up, the tap you get is not really so much from the neck, it's more from the chest compression. Your lungs compress and you can't breathe back in, plus it's not flowing on your neck. But it's the chest compression that's killing you. When you turn sideways, he tries to crank, it doesn't do the chest compression. Now you're only dealing with your neck. So now I'm going to demonstrate the elbow tuck escape and I'll break it down. So Devin uh, tries to submit me or punch me. I'm here. Okay? So what happens? When I get here as a tough wrestler, I calm down, okay? And I think to myself, okay, I tried my escapes. Now, this is the situation. And once I'm sideways here, okay, am I getting choked unconscious? No. Am I getting my arm broken? No. Am I getting punched? In the face, no. The only thing that's happening at this exact moment is just I'm a little bit, maybe claustrophobic, right? So I just gotta relax. This is when I think about nice open fields, puppies, all right? They want nice happy things. Now, but as I lay here acting as if I've kind of been broken, I pretend like I'm broken. I'm really like that alligator that's sitting around with the mouth wide open waiting for something to get inside to close on. I sit here like this, I have my hands loosely locked, not squeezing, loosely locked with an S grip here, okay? And I'm just kind of chilling here, pretending that I'm being broken. I wait for his move. Now he's gonna go for something. So I go maybe for my wrist, to go for, 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 a, for a, a arm lock here, maybe he's gonna push my arm across, to go for an arm triangle, maybe he's gonna release to punch me in the face. Something's gonna happen, he's gonna go on my tricep. The second it's go on my tricep, with the hands locked, I'm gonna tuck my elbow in I took my elbow in, my knees with a hip heist uh, uh, to both knees on the ground once. With this, and with this. Now, he's gonna desperately relock one on my head. He's already done, he's got no chance now. Now I just gotta pick my head up and dump it over. If he's stubborn enough to keep the head, which is never gonna happen if he's good, but if he is, I just frame on the face, break, and take the arm guard right there. So let's do uh, the opposite angle. Okay, so I get to my side, I relieve the pressure. When he goes to punch, I tuck his elbow and I come to my knees. He's gonna relock on my head, and I'm just gonna dump him with my head. By myself, I'm just here. He, I got this loose lock, he's got my head, he's got my arm, I'm waiting. The second that he releases, I tuck in my elbow and I go to my knees. When you're here, you might feel stuck. Just have confidence. Push up and dump with your head. One last time, Mr. Devin. Let's get another angle like this. Okay, it goes to, the first one on my side, that's the starting position. And it goes to punch me, right there. He relocks on my head. Okay, here, you might think you're pinned, but he's got all his weight in your head. But you're not, you just gotta have confidence. Keep the hands locked. When you keep the hands locked, have it uh, blocked with the S grip so you, so you don't have your a deep block like this, we can re-trap your elbow again, okay? When I do this, my 
elbows out. So now he can only grab my forearm or my wrist, which is not going to pull me back down. Like if he tries to pull my wrist up, we have no gi on. He's not going to be able to pin me down. Like no shot. So when he has the hands locked, I'm just going to go to my knees and from here, just have confidence. Pick up your head and go. The only mistake people make with this move is this. The only mistake people make is when the guy releases, they go like this and their elbow's still there and they start trying to come up to their knees and the guy just comes behind the tricep, pulls it hard up and pins it back down to the mat. Okay? When you're doing this, when you let's go, in. You don't have to lock your hands. I, if you can, if you, the locking hands just helps when you dump them over, but if it's like, if you feel like you're going to stick your elbow out to lock your hands, then when he, when he goes for it, I can just go like this and just have both hands around his body and come up this way. And then when I come up, I can relock here if I want. And the only other mistake people make is they try to set this move up while flat their back rather than turn to their side. You don't want to stay flat on your back against a good wrestler that has his hold. He can crank out your neck, compress your lungs, and make, and make everything a living nightmare from that position. So right there, that is what I call the, the elbow tuck escape versus the head and arm pin. All right, buddy, I hope you enjoyed the technique. Uh, if, you, if you like the video, please visit my website at www.marcosavalon.com and subscribe to my email list. And that way I can send you more videos because I, I, I post these videos on YouTube and on the internet forums once a week. But I actually post more videos for people that are subscribed to my email list at www.marcosallen.com. I also email training, uh, training tips, uh, diet tips, anything that's related to mixed martial arts and grappling. You will love it if you're into the sport. Furthermore, if you've seen this on YouTube, please drop a comment on YouTube and hit like for me. This helps me out. This helps promote my, my services and my gym. If you're seeing this on the internet forum, please post up, uh, put a, a positive post there or simply post TTT, which, which means to the top, so that the thread goes back to the top so more people can see it. This helps me out as well. And if you're from the South Florida area, please check out our 30-day free trial at www.bestfreetrial.com. We have schools in Miami and in Davie with a Miami gym being open 24 hours a day. And both schools offer a 30-day free trial. You don't have to sign nothing, buy nothing. On the last day, you can walk out, no questions asked. And we have a 60-day money-back guarantee. You can also give us a call at 1-888-FFA-GYMS, which spells out 1-888-332-4967. And if you're not from South Florida, visit www.marcosavalon.com. Thank you very much, everybody. Peace.